What's up, y'all? It's Nate Almighty, and I'm back with another Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4 video. And let's talk about the top five most disloyal characters in Power Book 2 Ghost, ranking them from number five to one. Five being the least loyal, in my opinion, and one being the most disloyal. I mean, I said loyal, but I really mean disloyal. Now, you got to stick to the end of this video to get to number one, of course. And since you're here, go ahead, like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you really rock with me, the cash out name is JPeterson91. Feel free to send a dollar donation, man. Help me do what I do. Now, before I get to the top five list, I'm going to talk about my three honorable mentions, okay? And that would be Davis McLean, Rashad Tate, and Kane, okay? Now, Davis McLean is somebody who you can say is disloyal, but here's the thing. Davis McLean, he came into this thing as just a lawyer. A lawyer, which means that he did his job for whoever, right? Based off of the money that he was given, which technically you can't call him disloyal. You can only call him a businessman. A person like Davis McLean would be someone who's like the, would be someone who's like a connect in a drug game. It's like, Two people who want to buy drugs from him, they may have beef with each other, but he's neutral to the situation. He's like, hey, whoever comes with the money, they get the work. It's that simple, right? And then you have Rashad Tate, who you could say is disloyal, but here's the thing, right? He's money hungry. He's the politician. Politicians are not loyal to nobody under them. They're not. They're not. And they're not required to be. Everything he does is for his own political gain. And for the dollar bill, he had no real ties to Tariq, even though he double-crossed Tariq, right? And then you have Kane, who I wanted to make a top five, and to me, he's simply just not top five disloyal. The most disloyal thing that I can recall him doing is when he stole the work and replaced it with sugar. Okay, so without further ado now, let's get to the top five. So starting off at number five, you have Tariq for taking the picture of Sweeney and giving it to Rashad Tate after Brandon told him not to do that and then he did it anyway for his own personal gain. Okay, now, Brayden being somebody who saved Tariq twice, right? This is very disloyal to do. And if Brayden wanted to, that could have been the end of their friendship. But it just so happened that Sweeney is a racist, and although he had love for Sweeney, I hope Sweeney is the right person who I'm naming right now. I believe it's Sweeney. If I'm wrong and it's not Sweeney and the name is someone else, let me know in the comment section. But anyway, because Brayden didn't care for Sweeney too much, he let it go. But that was extremely disloyal to do to your best friend. It could have had major repercussions and he could have been viewed as, you know, someone who violated his own family. But now let's get to number four. The fourth most disloyal person, okay? And that is Lorenzo Tejada. Lorenzo Tejada is this disloyal because he had you violated by the Guaps in order to cover up himself for killing Zeke because he's scared of Monet. So instead of being a man, right? Or at least getting as far away from Monet as possible and then telling Monet what he did, right? Instead of fessing up, he put Drew in a line of fire and put him in danger of being killed because what if the Guap would have took it too far even by mistake? What if the Guap would have took it too far and now you had Zeke's death and Drew's death on your hands? Monet would have killed you anyway. Monet would have killed you anyway. And other than that, I don't recall any other disloyal acts that Lorenzo did because we know that Lorenzo was about family first and foremost, which is what led him to even kill Zeke by mistake in the first place. Which, by the way, is Diana's fault. It's Diana's fault, by the way. You know what I'm saying? But moving on to number three. Number three would be Drew. Drew for putting Everett in front of the family business, okay? Putting everyone in immediate threat of arrest at any moment and being the ringleader 
of the murder plot of Monet and using Kane as a pawn, okay? We know Drew did this. Drew was thinking with his head in his pants and not his head above his neck. And at any point, if ever it had serious pressure from the police, he would have told. He would have had all of the Tejadas in jail, okay? All of them. All of them. He was wild. And also, being the person who was the ringleader of getting Monet killed after finding out what Monet did, right? And by the way, Monet can be another honorable mention, but she wouldn't be in the top five most disloyal, right? And coming in at number two, we would have Diana, but you know what? I'm going to switch Diana for Drew. I'm going to put Drew as two, and I'm going to put Diana as three, but we got Diana here for backing Drew up in the Monet murder plot and crossing Tariq over twice. But here's the thing. Her crossing over Tariq isn't as worse as her conspiring or co-conspiring to have Monet killed and using Kane as a pawn. And we're going to see her blame it all on Drew. This is exactly what's going to happen. She's going to blame it on Drew to Tariq and Monet. That's going to happen, right? But I'm going to have her as three and put Drew as number two because Drew was the ringleader, right? And he's more dangerous than Diane. And next, next we're going to have the number one most disloyal person in Power Book 2 Ghosts, which we all could predict was Effie. Effie is the most disloyal person on Ghosts for the simple fact that the only person who she owed the most loyalty to was Tariq because Tariq was her man. And for her to cross Tariq, not once, not twice, but three times and shoot at him and shoot at him, right? Blame him for something he didn't do, right? She's a horrible person and she's loyal to nobody but herself. And we're going to find out who Effie really is going into season four and it's going to be explosive but there you have it the top five most disloyal people in Power Book 2 Ghosts along with four counted four counted four honorable mentions with Davis McLean Kane Monet and Rashad Tate let me know who's your top five most disloyal people and in what order in the comment section like share comment subscribe peace